How's it going guys? Dylan with AndroidMe.com. Gonna show you an update uh, uh, for the Shoals mod for the Droid. So one thing you can see there initially is um, they've added in the probably uh, more superior uh, lock screen from 2.0. Um, they've also modified the vibrate so it's definitely not as um, severe as it was before. So it's a little bit easier. Um, Okay, so first thing, obviously, what they did was they added in a lot of the stuff from the Nexus One update. Um, you can see here the 2.1 gallery is uh, the 3D Cool Iris gallery. Here it is. Um, you can take a look at your photos. Um, if you've already seen this on Nexus One, this won't be anything new. But what is new is there's a multi-touch uh, addition on here. Um, we can go ahead and uh, show that to you here. So let's load up this photo here. Um, basically, they added multi-touch. Um, it works very well. It's very smooth. Um, you can zoom in and out. The cool thing about the multi-touch is that um, it's a lot better than the initial zooming functionality. As you can see here, it was uh, zooming in stages before. So you got one stage, two, three, and that's it. But now with the multi-touch, you can zoom in just a little bit up just a little bit and start panning around so just a little bit better accuracy and you can kind of manipulate the image a little bit better so that's the gallery um, another thing they updated obviously was the maps application from the Nexus one um, update um, obviously they added uh, starred um, syncing from your Google Maps online uh, you could take a look here the new stars um, they just pretty much just updated the entire maps app to uh, 3.4 because here we're running uh, 3.4 on a uh, Motorola Shoals. Um, and then of course they added in the uh, multi-touch. Works pretty well. Um, as you've seen in some of the other videos, once you zoom in it kind of warps to the zoom level. Um, and it works pretty well. Um, at one point I was having some weird artifacts where it would uh, split the names of stuff, like where it says San Bruno Mountain, it had to uh, split that into two different zoom levels, but it seems to be working a lot better now. Um, and of course, the double tap has always been there, so that's a nice addition, the multi-touch for the Maps application there. Um, where the browser, they actually, instead of uh, taking the Nexus One update and putting it in there, they actually took the browser from the Milestone, that's the European version of the Droid, and put that into the ROM. Um, one of the things that does is uh, enables a lot faster scrolling. Um, I have this overclocked to 800 megahertz right now, so... Uh, that might also be a reason, but what they did is, um, once you see on the multi-touch here, we have anti-aliasing on the um, on the screen here, but as soon as you hold down the screen as if you're about to scroll, you can see the anti-aliasing goes away for a moment. So you can see that right there. Um, personally, I don't really like that, but apparently it does make for a better scrolling experience, so I guess that's pretty nice. Um, and then another thing in this... Um, the new ROM, they added uh, the Shoals mod updater, which is similar to the Cyanogen mod updater. Um, you're going to see here, uh, you can pretty much you know, go back to root, stock, um, or you could uh, add their ROM. Um, it pretty much flashes a recovery for you, does everything for you, does a pretty well jo job of that. And that's about it. Um, they added a couple of new apps in here, the Bright Control app. Um, couple new things in here and there but most of it's pretty much the same um, another cool addition that I wanted to show you guys was the 2.1 music app so basically um, pretty much the same as what you've seen before but it adds a little bit um, I guess better UI it puts the album art behind uh, the track selection which because before it was very bland um, and they added this quick bar on the bottom here but the now playing screen is um, ultimately the same here so yeah, pretty much the same thing. But yeah, it's uh, this, the Shoals Mod 2.0.1 Bitchin' Bagel Edition, and it's available at shoals.info. Once again, it's Dylan for AndroidMe.com. Thank you.